Welcome to the first episode of Metric Measurement About Length. Here, you will learn how to identify and describe the size of a meter, centimeter, and millimeter. This can help you to estimate how tall or short, far or close, wide or narrow something is. Here in the United States, you usually hear about inches, feet, yards, and miles. These are customary measurements. However, everywhere else in the world, people use a different way to measure called the metric system. You have heard of meters, centimeters, and millimeters. These units or parts of length are used to measure distances too. The basic unit of measuring length in the metric system is the meter. This ruler measures the meter. Find a door near you. The doorknob or handle is probably about one meter above the floor. Our class went on a treasure hunt for things that measured about a meter. This is what we found. The height of a science fair board, the height of a cart, and the leg of a meteorologist. Let's play an estimation game. About how many meters high do you think these lockers are? Remember, a meter is about the height from the floor to a doorknob. You're right if you guessed two meters. A meter is too big to measure small things, but we can divide a meter into smaller pieces called centimeters. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. Look at your pinky finger. The tip of this finger is about one centimeter wide. We went on another treasure hunt and found these things that were about one centimeter. This is what we found. The width of a pen, the width of a computer board key, and the width of a pencil. Let's do another round of our estimation game. This time use your pinky to estimate centimeters. About how many centimeters do you think this crayon is? If you guessed nine or 10 centimeters, you're right. Sometimes you may need to measure something very small like the thickness of the lead on your pencil. If you divide a meter into 1,000 pieces, you get a millimeter. That means there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Look at the tip of your fingernail. The tip of your fingernail is about one millimeter thick. Here are some of the things we found that are about one millimeter. The eye of a small smiley face sticker. The period at the end of a sentence. And the thickness of a popsicle stick. Now it's estimation time. Look at this paper clip. About how many millimeters wide do you think it is? Try to imagine how many of the tips of your fingernail would fit across the paper clip. If you guess close to 9 millimeters, you're right. Things that you are familiar with, like fingernails, pinkies, and the distance from a doorknob to the floor can help you to estimate length. Using these things can help you to remember the size of a meter, centimeter, or a millimeter. Keep those iPods ready for the next episodes where we will explore metric units of capacity and weight.